Hi Calvary, I'm Christian. I'm the communications and online campus director, but you might recognize me as one of the drummers in the worship band. My position as a drummer fits my personality well. I get to be instrumental in the delivery of music from a protected vantage point. I get to be part of it all, but I don't have to be the one out front with a microphone. See, I appreciate the music and career of Phil Collins, but I don't plan to step out from behind the drum set to become the front man anytime soon. The Bible doesn't mention if Joshua fancied himself a percussionist, but as the assistant to Moses, he played a similar supportive role. Moses was prevented from crossing over the River Jordan and into the land God was giving them. So after he died, God spoke to Joshua and said, guess what, you're now the leader. I need you to take the Israelites into the Promised Land. I don't know whether or not Joshua was ready to be the leader. He had spent the last many years working right next to Moses. He was there when Moses led the Israelites out of Egypt. He was there when he raised his staff and the waters of the Nile spread open so they could pass through. He was also there when Moses brought the Ten Commandments down from Mount Sinai. But none of those experiences made becoming the leader necessarily an easy transition for Joshua. Now that I'm on staff at Calvary, I am surrounded by many great men of God. The pastors here all know the Bible well and have a gift for preaching. I've been a Christian since I was a little kid, but I get nervous when it comes time for me to share. I'm fearful of saying the wrong thing. I'm a reluctant minister. I don't know for sure, but it could have been a similar situation for Joshua. He may have been comfortable in his role as the assistant to the regional manager. But when tasked with becoming the leader, he might have been overwhelmed. We see how the Lord spoke to him in Joshua chapter 1, verses 3-7. through 7. God assures Joshua that he is protected and that God will not fail or abandon him. He tells him to be strong and courageous repeatedly. And in verse 8, God gives him this important directive. Study this book of instruction continually. Meditate on it day and night, so you will be sure to obey everything written in it. Only then will you prosper and succeed in all you do. He then repeats for the third time, be strong and courageous, and adds, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. When I was asked to present a word for the day to you, I got anxious. I felt like I wasn't ready. I don't feel confident in my level of godly wisdom. However, I have been making a point of daily reading, studying, memorizing, and reviewing scripture. And like the verse says, when you meditate on it day and night, you will be sure to obey everything written in it. Then, and only then, will you prosper and succeed in all you do. What about you? How are things going? Are things in your life causing you fear and anxiety? Do you lack confidence? How well do you feel like you know God's word? The Bible is a pretty thick instruction manual. It can be a bit confusing knowing where to start, how to learn, and how to apply what you're reading. Here are a few ways that might help. Attend a church where the Bible is being taught. If you don't have a church, I'd like to personally invite you to Calvary. We have in-person services in Lake Havasu City every Saturday at 5 p.m., Sundays at 8, 9.30, and 11, and in Parker, Sundays at 11. If you don't live here, please join me at any one of those times for our online broadcast. If you attend Calvary, let me encourage you to follow along with the Life Notes. If you don't already belong to a life group, consider joining one. The discussions that take place in life groups op often help solidify the lessons being taught. Also, the YouVersion Bible app has a Bible in a Year study that several of us have been doing, and it's been really insightful. You can jump in now if you'd like. I'll post a link to our services and to the Bible study app in the description below. So my encouragement to you today is... Study this book of instruction continually. Meditate on it day and night so you'll be sure to obey everything written in it. Only then will you prosper and succeed in all you do. I pray that this act of overcoming my fear to share these verses with you helps you to recognize the necessity and benefit of reading God's word. Be strong, be courageous. The Lord your God is with you wherever you go. If this word for the day is connected with you, please let us know in the comments and consider sharing it with a friend who may not be receiving these daily devotionals. God bless.